Good evening, YouTube Booktube. This is Johnny. I am going to make a video because it is a Monday. This is the Monday Reads. And also, I got a bunch of um, thrift store books last week. This is a Monday. It is uh, November the 23rd, 2020. It is 6.25 in the evening here in West Michigan and uh, the weather today was kind of partly cloudy and sunny, cold, it's supposed to snow tomorrow, rain and snow here in West Michigan and uh, yeah I went to thrift stores. Now it's one thing I was thinking about thrift stores, um, I always use thrift stores but what do I mean by thrift stores because I get these comments all the time telling people telling me, we're commenting, that uh, I'm buying too many books or I have too many books and I only should read the what I show in my videos or, and I always tell people that I, I'm a book collector, uh, I have, we have a house that we owned, it's a big house, there's plenty of space, even though I am stacking books all over the place down the lower level and we are running out of room but right now it's manageable but the point is what do I mean by thrift stores I mean Goodwill Salvation Army Bibles for Mexico Action House Dittos and the Humane Society now all these thrift stores are like Goodwill, Salvation Army, they help people in need. They provide job, job training. They provide food for those who need food. They provide clothing for those who need clothes. They pro they have furniture. Uh, if you need a bed, if you need a refrigerator, if you need a stove, if you need uh, uh, housing, they. So when I buy a used book like the one I showed you the other night, Robert Stone, Children of Light. I bought this at Bibles from Mexico for a quarter. So, and all that money goes to, to missions, uh, missionaries who are distributing Bibles in, in Mexico. So to me, that's a good thing. Give, so I'm supporting uh, a Spanish translation of the Bible being distributed by people. If I go to Goodwill, that's the same thing. They provide job training, all kinds of uh, programs for those people who are who are poor, who are needy, and who need some kind of assistance. So, to me, I look at buying books from thrift stores as giving to the poor, to those who are in need. I'm not supporting. Uh, a retail book chain. I'm not, you know, I'm, and I'm also, if these books, if they're not bought, they go to, they usually, they're shredded. <laughs> they're thrown into a dumpster. Or they just, uh, whatever they do with them. So I look at, my wife and I, we are, we recycle. We believe in recycling. And so I'm, these things were owned by somebody and then they're being recycled and the money that I use, that I am spent on these used books go to help those who are in need. So to me, it's a good thing. It's, it, it's a good cause. Ditto's is a thrift store. The money goes to Christian education, people who can't afford to send their kids to a Christian schools here in Holland among the Dutch Reformed, Christian education is a big thing. Uh, Humane Society, that goes to provide care for stray animals, cats and dogs. Uh, you know, uh, what else here? Dittos, Action House, same thing. They provide clothing, uh, furniture, food, for those in the community who are in need. Uh, I go to the Holland Rescue Mission. They have thrift stores that men live at the rescue mission. It provides food and clothing and shelter for men 
who are homeless and women and families who are homeless. So all to me, it's all it's all a good thing. Now here in this little area where we live here in Holland, I I tend to find a lot of books. Now I did over the years get a lot of books from our local library used bookstore, the Book Nook, which has been closed since March due to the plague. And over the 10 years, maybe more, I got a lot of books that were donated to the library and I bought them. And all the money that was that we got at the Book Nook went to pro provide programs at the local library for the community. All that money went into uh, library projects that benefited the community, children, adults, teenagers, whatever. So it was all, the money went into a good, a good cause. So to me, when I say thrift stores, I'm saying I bought books to help those who are in need. So to me, it, it's a good thing. I didn't, like I said, I didn't go to Barnes & Noble. I didn't go to some retail bookstore. Now here in Holland, there is no uh, independent bookstores. If I went to Grand Rapids, yeah, but you go to Grand Rapids, you spend you know six, eight dollars for a used book. This book would go for four or five dollars in Grand Rapids at a used bookstore. I got it for twenty-five. So anyway, so for those out there, that's what thrift stores, charity. It's all this money that I've spent on used books goes to help those who are in financial need or need food or shelter or clothing or whatever, job training. Salvation Army, they have a thrift store, but they also are a, a de Christian denomination. They provide social, they have a social, what do you call it? Um, they have a church, they have worship, they provide counseling, they help people who are alcoholics, addicts, people who are on the street, things like that. Anyway, so these are the used books. I mentioned this one, I got it, Bibles of Mexico, Robert Stone, Children of Light. I've been reading this still. I got this at Goodwill. This is a translation of a Indian epic from India. Uh, the Ramanana translated, I don't know, I can't pronounce it. Anyway, this is what this is. It's a penguin classic, and that's, it was only a quarter. So I picked that up. It's by R.K. Noranian. Let's see, I got that. So, nice little cover too. Picked this up, the Protestant Reformation, edited by Hans... J. Handebrin. This is like a anthology of uh, of Reformation, Protestant Reformation documents. I have an old, old copy. This is a revised edition, Protestant Reformation. Uh, I picked this up today at Goodwill. Hitler's War by David Irving. This is on Hitler in the Germany during the Second World War, the rise of Hitler into his demise. Picked this up at Holland Rescue Mission, Capitalism, Socialism, and Democracy by Joseph A. Stompiper. He was a very famous 20th century economist originally from Austria. I had his biography, but I can't find it. And I found this book at Goodwill, Collaborative Circles, Friendship Dynamics, and Creative Work by Michael P. Farrell. Now this is a sociological kind of book, but uh, it just looks interesting. It looks at how different people work together in creative work, like writers working with another writer or people who are creative working with other people and how that 
helps them and they're being creative. This is the penguin uh, eyes on the so, Eyes on the Prize Civil Rights Reader. This is a civil rights reader. Documents speeches and first-hand accounts from the Black Freedom Struggle. Edited by general editors Claiborne Carson, David J. Car Carew, Gerard Gail Vincent, Harding, Darlin Clark Hine. This is the Eyes on the, the, Eyes on the Prize, a civil rights reader. I got this at, I think this, I got this at Bibles from Mexico. My wife found this at our local little library, Book of Poetry by John Perriman, Berryman, Berryman, The Heart is Strange, Book of Poetry. My wife got this at the local library, their little used book rack I told you about. Hiroshio, Hiroshio, Hiroshima and Nakash, Nakash, Nakashki, Nagaski, you know, the place of the atomic bomb by Paul, Paul Ham. Hiroshima and Nagaski, the real story of the atomic bombings and their aftermath. And then I picked up this novel, How to Stop Time, by Matt Haig. I forgot where I got this. I think I got it at, I think I got this at a Goodwill. And then I picked up, I showed you this Clive Barker, The Damnation Game. I got this at Bibles from Mexico. Then this is, I got this at Holland Rescue Mission thrift store. JFK and JBJ, The Influence of Personality Upon Politics by Tom Wicker. A little biography on the John Calvin, the Protestant Reformation, Re French Reformer by W.J. Greer. This is a theology book on the doctrine of adoption, sons in the sun, riches and reach of the adoption in Christ by David B. Garter, New Testament Studies. I already had this. But I'm going to give this away to a friend. I found this at Holland Rescue Mission. This is a novel, historical fiction, by the writer Stephen Crane. Hotel de Dream, a New York novel by Edmund White. I collect Edmund White. I didn't have this in our Edmund White collection, historical novel. Then I picked this up at Bibles to Mexico. No, no, I got this at the Holland Rescue Mission. Jesus the Messiah, a survey of the life of Christ by Robert W. Not w H. Robert H. Stein. And then last, I picked this novel up by Scott Spencer, Endless Love. I have two or three other novels by Stephen Scott Spencer. This is his novel, Endless Love. He mainly writes about tormented love and ro romances and failed marriages or failed relationships, but adultery and things like that. But I, re I read part of a novel his this year. It wasn't too bad. So those are the books that I got at charity shops, thrift stores, whatever, Goodwill, Salvation Army, Humane Society, Ditto's, Bibles from Mexico, Action House. So to me, those are all like giving your money to the poor. <laughs> now, I do get books from Amazon. You know, it's not, I'm not denying that I don't get books from Amazon. And I get books from Reformation Heritage Books and things like that. But the majority of the books in my videos are used books, old used books. People have donated, taken out of libraries. Uh, like this book, uh, some of these books have in it where they were taken out of. I don't know if I can find one. But let me see here. I don't 
See, this was withdrawn from the Herrick District Library. This was withdrawn out of the library system. Now, this book cost me $3, but all that money goes to library programs. doesn't go into anybody's pocket. It goes right into the local library supporting their programs. So I have been reading uh, Robert Stone, The Children of Light. I did get a book in the mail. I, I belong in Facebook to the Carthusians, which is a monastic order from the Middle Ages who are still today. And somebody in, my, in the Carthusian mentioned that there were the Dionysus, the Carthusian who lived from 1402 to 1471 that someone was translating his commentary on the Psalms and I ordered the first volume. This is a commentary, this is called Betis Vera, Commentary on the Debaic Psalms, Volume 1, Psalms 1 through 25, Translation and Induction by Andrew M. Greenwell, by Dionysian the Carthusian. As you all know, I'm into Carthusians. Here's other writings by modern Carthusians. The Prayer of Love and Silence by a Carthusian. The Wound of Love, a Carthusian miscellany. And here's a history of the Carthusians. Halfway to Heaven, the Hidden Life of the Carthusians by Bruce, by Robert Bruce Lockhart. And I do have, I bought this number of years ago, the Spiritual Writings of Dionysus the Carthusian, translated into English by E. D. L. D. M. Ne Renane. I found that last night. I looked this up on Amazon. It goes for seven hundred and fifty dollars used. <laughs> I bought this years ago because, as you all know, I have been reading for many years. This volume, The Carthusian Spirituality, The Writings of Hugh Obama and Gaio DuPont, and the Classics of Western Spirituality. I have two copies of this, one paperback. This is my hardback. And I read this every year at least once. And he, the Carthusians is one of my favorite uh, monastic orders besides the the Benedictines and the uh, Franciscans. So yeah, this book is a gem. Uh, I thought I might read parts of it today, tonight, but I don't know, time is running out. I just want to show you the used books that I got at thrift stores last week so I can get these down the lower level. Get them out of the living room, out of the t on the to-be-read to pile table in the living room. I got books that came in today. I got books coming in tomorrow. New books. And I'll show those in future videos. There's another book in the Classics of Western Spirituality. Devote, Devote Maranene. So, I don't know. I got all kinds of books. The Holy Trinity and the Life of the Church. As you all, you all know, I'm into Christian spirituality, Christian mysticism, the history of Christian spirituality, uh, the history of prayer, the history of, of contemplation and meditation. So that's why I have these books. So today, I didn't really read anything. I, <laughs> I didn't really get around to reading it this morning. I read uh, I read an article on Dionysian the Carthusian in this book, a dictionary of major biblical interpreters uh, edited by Donald M. McCain. There's a big article on Dionysian the Carthusian. So I read that this morning. So that's it. So I hope you're having you had a good weekend. I this weekend we watched a lot of football. Tonight we'll watch Monday night football. 
and tomorrow's a Tuesday. I got books coming in the mail tomorrow. I got books that came in the mail today. So I have been reading this. Uh, I read the introduction, a little biographical sketch on Dionysus the Carthusian. And uh, I have been reading this little book I got out on the Psalms. The Psalms of David in Meter, but notes by John Brown of Huntington. This is published by um, Presbyterian Heritage Publications. The, this is for uh, churches that are strictly psalm singing. So I got this out to sing the psalms. <laughs> so, yeah. That's about it here. So I uh, will thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for the comments. Do pray that you're all well, that you're not sick with this COVID-19 plague, that you'll have a good new week. And not much else going on here. Days just go by quickly. Tomorrow's <sighs> Tuesday. This Thursday's Thanksgiving. We'll have it with our oldest son who lives down the street with his wife and our granddaughters, Josie and Cora. Emily's parents will be there. It should be a safe environment. <laughs> My wife's a retired nurse and she said that we should be okay. So I'm not worried about getting the plague and dying and having to throw me on the street to be picked up by some vehicle, haul me off to uh, the mortu a mortuary <laughs> or the hospital. Anyway, until next time, hope you're all doing well. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for the subscription. And until next time, bye.